In this short video, we're going to show you how you can create text in your Vectric software. Let's just close out here. So to access the Draw Text tool, you need to go over to your Design tab and under the Create Vector section, you want to click on this icon here to draw text. And when you click on that, that will open up the Create Text tool. So we're going to start our way at the top. So we're going to use the option to create text here. Working our way down, we've got the option here to create our text. So this is our text field and we can type text in this space here or we could look at pasting text. Now, if you felt like you wanted to work with a bigger text field, you can use the larger edit option here where again, you can type your text in or paste text into this larger field here. So we're just going to press cancel and we're going to work with the standard text entry form here. And so straight away, we're already presented with a box and this box represents the height of our text. It also represents how the text is going to be aligned, which we can see is in the center and we can alter that over here. So when we create our text, it's going to create it from the center. It's going to be at this height that we can see here, which we can see is one inch there. And we'll look at how we can edit all of these in a second. So we're going to start by creating our text. So all you need to do is just type it the text that you want in this text field. So we're going to type in Vectric like so, and you can see it's drawn that out in the 2D view and in the 3D view. And so the result that we have here is a combination of the text that we've entered along with all of the settings that we've got within the form. Now the software seems to think that we've spelt Vetric wrong as this word is underlined in red. Obviously we know that we haven't, but it looks like this word isn't recognized in the Vetric dictionary, which isn't a problem as we can look at adding new words to the dictionary. So we can right click on that word, go to spell checker, and here it will give us an alternative to what, we, what the software thinks you might actually mean or we could look at adding in a new word. So we're gonna use the add word option and you'll see now it's no longer underlined because we've added that to our spell checker and it's spelled correctly. Now you can also look at, if you right click, if we click on the word and then right click and then go back to spell checker, we can also remove words from our dictionary as well. So that's just a handy little spell check tool. So working our way down the form, we've got the font. So we've got true type font. Now the true type font are fonts that are already installed on your computer and we can scroll through them like so. So we can click and then using the down arrow keys or you scroll off your mouse, you can work through them and then get the updates of how that font looks within your software. Alternatively, if you, want, if you knew the font that you wanted to use and you wanted to jump to that, for example, let's search for impact, I can press I on my keyboard and it will jump straight to the I section that we've got available here. And then at the top, once you start creating fonts, you'll start to see a list of favorite fonts as well. So for example, if we go into here and we use this font here and then we close out of the form. And then if we go back into the form here, you'll see that that's now displayed at the top here. And what it will do is by default, it will display the last five fonts used, which just makes it easy to find those commonly used fonts. And you can edit how many are shown from the edit options menu that you've got available here. So let's just undo that text. And again, we'll just type in the word Vetric here. So now we're going to look at the single line fonts. So single line fonts are fonts that we actually include with the software and these are perfect for quick engraving. You can see we've got a selection of different fonts that you can choose from in here. So let's just go back to the true type and then we're going to go back to Arial over here. Working our way down the form, you can set it to bold, italic, both at the same time. You can change your alignment, so you can have it from the left, center, or the right. So you can alter the text height in here, like so. And you'll see it just instantly updates for you. 
And obviously you can be very precise as to where you want to anchor your text in terms of the X, Y position. But quite often you're just going to manually position your text within your job space. And once you're happy with your text, you can simply close out. And then with that text created, you can move it around if you wanted to. You could look at rotating it. You could look at sizing it if you wanted to. And all whilst it's still a text entity, we can still edit this text. So for example, with this selected, let's go back into the text tool, in which case we want to add software here and you'll see it just updates that for us there. And that's how you use the text tool.